Hi everyone, let's take a look at how to install the Playwright MCP server in VS Code. Uh, we can go straight to the repo of Playwright MCP and uh, this will tell you what it's about. If you're not sure what it's about, it's, it basically enables LLMs to interact with web pages. Um, so the config is here and I could go ahead and use that, but I just want to actually click on this button. I'm using VS Code Insiders. That's the latest uh, build of VS Code. And soon enough, there will be a VS Code button here. So watch that space. But right now, let's click on that button. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask me, can I open VS Code? And it's going to open this pop-up menu here. And I want to install the server. So let's install the server in our user settings. Now, I have already got the Playwright MCP in my cloud desktop. So it's actually opened up the cloud desktop config. Don't worry about that. But you can see down here that I now have um, these available. I've got cloud desktop, cloud desktop, and then down here, I've got global encode insiders. And I can uh, see that by basically opening up the user settings and I scroll down here and I've got uh, Playwright in there. Um, and I've got the GitHub one as well. So that's it in here. And I can press, literally press start if I want to start that particular one. Um, now, I, this is available to all my repos, but if I wanted to have it specific to only one repo or this one, I can actually just create an MCP JSON file and then I can click on the add server button, choose NPM and do add playwright uh, slash MCP, press enter. It says install playwright MCP from Pavel Feldman, allow, uh, call it playwright, press enter. And, um, and now I've got this server here and I could, you know, start that server. I've got 88 tools here. So I've got more coming up here. That's great. Um, so now I've got all these servers running. Um, and now I can basically say uh, navigate to navigate to the Playwright uh, MCP GitHub repo from Microsoft and click on the issues tab, for example, very simple instructions, just uh, to give you an idea of what it can do. Um, so basically, it's uh, going to help you navigate, it's open to a browser, there we go, Microsoft Playwright MCP. And if I go back here, um, now normally, you would say, um, it would say the continue here, I'm not, before I actually was playing around with this, I allowed it for all of this session. So you can like, you can see now it's saying browser click, can I click? And I press continue. And before what I did was allow in this session. So anytime I'm using a session in here or in this workspace or always allow, and then I never have to press that button again and again and again. So it's really nice. But let's just, um, let's just press continue just for here, but you can choose whichever one suits you. And there we go, run the browser click. And um, now I'm on the issues and I can continue um, to, to do other things uh, like, and it's giving me the information, right, of how many issues there are and a list of everything. I love it. Uh, click on the um, um, click on the pull requests. Click on the pull requests, uh, and basically just ask it to to do whatever I wanted to do. And and that's it. Basically, the Playwright MCP um, gives us the power again because I didn't say this. I can allow in this session, and I won't have to press that button again. Um, and that's basically uh, it. That's how you can just go along. There's my pull request uh, to the Playwright MCP. So um, yes, go ahead, give it a star um, and make sure you have fun with the Playwright MCP.